Vala nay 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 Vala nay 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 Can I get some help guys? Vala nay 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 Slovenia have had the first rehearsal at Eurovision 2018 and we need to talk about it. Are you ready? Let's, Let's do, do this! this. Oh my goodness, some people called it a train wreck. Well, honey, this train is on track. Slovenia has delivered what is, in my mind, their best rehearsal ever at any Eurovision that we have seen. This was bloody amazing. It was wild, it was wacky, it was crazy, and yet it worked. It's a little tacky and street, and some would say too urban, or maybe, you know, so my friends back home be like, this is ghetto, but you know what? This ain't ghetto, this is fabulous. This urban street sweet. Wag. This badass woman in control, in power, ready to slay for Slovenia, for Europe, for the world. Leia Sirk, you are my queen. I'm not sure what to make of it because the performance, the, the national final performance, I've always thought it was very slick and very mm. modern. But she's ditched some strong elements from it because it, she had the mirror, the frames, they're gone. Um, instead, they're strutting down the catwalk, and it's very um, Amazonian-like, nearly, that there's like an army of the women, because these women, if you look at the lyrics, it's all about empowerment, yeah. and that's another thing. I think it loses, um, it loses an opportunity, it misses an opportunity by being in Slovenian rather than English, because the lyrics are very meaningful, but most people don't speak Slovenian, mm. and only people in Slovenia can speak Slovenian and they can't vote for her so I think she's missing a trick but anyways they're doing that and then there's the moment then where there's a fake moment and they were very popular back in 2016 when Beret fell and uh. Dow Bob's singing stopped and she's decided to go down that route and I don't know I can't decide whether it works or not um, because she tried a few different things because first of all the first run through it was as if it was a technical hiccup and everybody in the press room was like mm. what's going on and then we realized it was real that or not that it was real but that it was meant to happen that it was fake it was real fake um then another time it was kind of like rather than pretend it was a um, uh, technical hiccup she was like come on guys as if to, to get the crowd to do it um yeah see i'm not sure whether it works and everybody has kind of been all excited mm. about this performance and they weren't before but th the performance, apart from the loss of the picture frames, is the same as in Slovenia. So are people just getting excited over her pretending to be there to be a technical hiccup? And if that is what people are getting excited over, I don't see why they're getting excited. And I'm all mixed up and I'm going to stop talking. Uh, I was excited for it. I thought that actually, I mean, to get the entire press room to be like, oh, that's what she's doing. Uh, like, it, it did trick everyone, really. And that was fair props to them. Obviously, that's going to lose its effect on people when you've seen it three times. And it's going to, like, by the time we actually see the semi-final, everybody in the press is going to be like, oh, she's doing it again. Uh, but that being said, I thought it really worked the first time because it was genuinely like, oh, no, I feel bad for her. Oh, hang mm. on, she's still going, oh, okay, right. And then if the crowd get behind that, then that's going to be great. The problem is, if the crowd don't get behind it, that's going to be awful. Yeah, I think one of the reasons people in the press room are getting behind this is so many acts play it safe. So mm. many countries play it safe, looking for a mainstream traditional radio hit. This is not mainstream. This is not traditional. This is totally bloody crazy. And it <laughs> harks back to old school Eurovision where people wanted to have fun and make an impact that way. And this is doing that. There is musicality in the sense that Leia can really sing. She mm. has a voice. She has power. She has a rhythm. I am loving this rhythm and words. And those words are vala nay nay. I'm going to turn it around. Now, Vala yay, Vala slay, Vala you stay, cause you're going to the final girl. This was on point. No, she is, honey, she is going through. People can write this off all they want. Our girl Leah really killed it today. I love the color scheme. The color scheme is aggressive, black, with this hue of purple. It's like a beautiful warrior from a Harry Potter movie charging at me. Charge, girl, charge. She's got some Patronus realness. I don't know what I'm saying, but I do know this. I know that this song woke me up. I was feeling real lethargic. I was feeling real tired. No offense, Montenegro, Vanjie. Now I am alive. Final thoughts. I think you were watching bootleg copies of Harry Potter, uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, I still would think that it's um, borderline. I can't see it being a runaway qualifier. Yeah, I think it is. I think it would be borderline just because 
immediately after Sweden and Montenegro, it does kind of feel a little bit lost, and then with Ukraine afterwards. But I think that that I think that that mm. stop has helped her chances mm. more than hindered it. I just, I don't know. I, I really hope that the crowd do get behind it because everything else was on point. Mm. It's just that that is a big risk they're taking. Fair play to them for taking the risk, but I wonder whether the jury might think, mm. oh, what's this like? Why is she faking a technical fault? Because it, it, it could look like she's cheating the system in a way, but she's not, but it, it's, it's almost fake sympathy. And I don't know, but I, I, I really liked it. Curiously, I think this type of song would actually do better in the final than in the semi-final because yeah. when you have a mass audience, which includes more people who watch Eurovision casually, mm. they vote for something like this, which is slightly out of the box, slightly wacky. Whereas in the semi-final, you have the diehard fans who are much more, you know, a mm. bit more serious, I guess you could say. Yeah. In any case, sending love to Love Lana. That's what we think. What do you think? Are you loving Slovenia's first rehearsal? Do you think Leia is headed to the final? You can let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. Make sure to subscribe and switch on the notifications. And leave a like. And hey, we're going to see you later. Bye! Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.